So something a wee bit different today. I um I bought these. They're called Inmo I N M O Air Two. A VR glasses, and well, pretty much what you get is this is a ring to control them, and these are the glasses themselves. Um, they're. I mean, they don't look bad for a pair of sunglasses, but I wouldn't wear them. Like it's pretty obvious they're not a normal pair of glasses just by looking at them because you've got the camera up here and there's another one here. But and you can kind of see the screen. See the little darker area up here. Um yeah, so I've ordered them and I'll turn them on here real quick. See if you can see anything. Yeah, not really. You can kind of see the screen in the glasses, but obviously from the front you can't see anything. Um, the rings just to control them, and then they come with charger as well. Um, there's this other card then called VR Rock. That sell lenses, so I figured if I have to wear glasses anyway, I may as well have a screen and camera in them. So I'm hoping to use these for a bit of recording. Um, these wee lenses go in, they just sit in on the inside here with magnets, you can see the wee, uh, there's too much reflection but you can see the wee magnets there. So yeah, that's them, um, they're not exactly cheap but neither are normal glasses so what can you do? I'll, uh, I'll take them out now and do a wee video with them and you can compare this video to the quality of them and see what it looks like. If it's, I have a bad, I have a bad habit of pointing away whenever I'm talking about stuff. So hopefully they'll come with me, and hopefully the stabilization isn't too bad on them. But they've just got a wee like a phone operating system inside them. <laughs> and it's looking for an update. It's kind of cool the sides actually. These here are trackpads. You can hear it. Well, maybe you didn't hear it, but so you slide, you know, uh, side to side and then up and down to go up and down. You tap it to go in, and the other side's brightness and volume. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Chuffed with them so far, and uh, I'll put in my lenses and take them for a wee spin now. I figured actually I'd better do a side by side of my old glasses. The new ones, and that's the lenses in now. So they're, I mean, they're obviously a bit thicker. But then you've got like a, you know, battery, phone presser, processor, camera, microphone, speakers. The speakers are here on the leg of them. Kind of cool. And then the charging port. It's got its own wee funky magnetised charging port. It's kind of cool. So you snap it on. And it plugs into the PC, charges, sends videos up. You um, you need a Wi-Fi connection to set them up, but you don't need uh, an account or anything. You know, like a normal phone, you need a Google account. Well, those you don't. Pretty good job. And the lenses came with these wee padded case zipper on the side. Right, so. This is video test one, I guess. I'm hoping to see what the sound's like as well. Um, it is dark, so I'm using my phone for light. Ah! I can see nothing! Who's a good boy? Who's that good boy? And I can finally get petting you with two hands. Is what I would say if I wasn't holding a torch in the other hand. Good puppy! Right. <clears throat> Just got home from work, and she is... Hey... Cold and dark. Come on, you first. Come on. Do you want to be fed first? Right, we'll do you first. Alright. Good night, girl. Love you lots. Sleep tight, pet. Jimmy, your turn. Come on, Jimmy. Good boy. 
Who's that good boy? Night night, pup. Love you lots. Good girl. Okay, Belle, your turn. Where's that Balladog? Where's that Balladog? Yeah, I'm assuming you can't see it either. <laughs> Who's that good girl? All right, pup. Good night. Love you. Good girl. Right, so that's the dogs done. And I've got some cats to do. Um, if they're there. Hey, Judah. Hey, girl. Oh, you've already got food. What are you begging me for? What are you begging me for? Go to the blind cat instead. Um, if you haven't seen him before, this is Stumpy. If you can. <laughs> it's funny, and if you, and if you look for him in the dark with a torch on, you expect to see his eyes reflecting, but. Because he's blind, they don't. All right, boy. He's a good cat too. All right, boy. Sorry. <laughs> um, I reached out to pet him. And forgot he couldn't see my hand, and then scared him. Um, that's gonna be something to get used to. You're now gonna follow every time I look. Um, away from what I should be recording, you're gonna come with me, sort of thing. Not ideal. Um, right. Well, I'll leave that as a test for now, and I'll, I'll have a go with the phone. You can compare the two. All right. Right. So, haven't done all that many videos with the. I'm doing it again. I'm looking. I'm looking away from where the camera's pointing. I really need to get out of that habit. Um, so, I'm going to try and look at similar things, but with the phone. They're, they're definitely better at doing like a POV, as in you follow me. I'm interested to see how well the like image stabilisation and stuff shows up, so that'll be cool. Um, yeah, I guess I'll, I'll go and say goodnight to the dogs all over again. You can tell me if it's better or worse. Or rather, I'll probably see myself if it's better or worse before it's before this gets edited and put up. So, <clears throat> hey, puppy, have you eaten all your food? Are you a good girl? Yeah, no, no, pet. And then this is Cheetah again. She's she's still begging, even though she's got a bowl full of food. Come on up here. Come on. Come on. Typical cat. That's what that is. Typical putty cat. Meg's a good girl. Well, Meg hasn't eaten hers yet either. Jamie's a good boy. Look at how blue his eyes are in the reflection. Such a pretty boy. And he has his... I can see. No, he hasn't eaten his. Normally he has a demolished. By the time I feed Belly and come back, he has his absolutely demolished. 
All right then, I'll probably do another comparison in the daytime, just to show. Um, so, go and do that now, I guess. So, <clears throat> if you're wondering the videos, I did them at night time. I was gonna do separate ones in the daytime, but I figured that day I'd just do a video and see if anyone notice. So my last two videos with the chainsaws, that was with these glasses actually, nearly, nearly all of the recording was done on these. And I know what I said about this crowd here, VR Rock, they're the ones that provided these here. Um, and as you can see, they're kind of similar to the ones that came with, but not really. I, I actually had quite a bit of bother with them. I, well, I put in the wrong prescription for them and messaged the guy and he said he'd give me half price off a new set which was useless to me because I'd already sent these here away um, I told him that they didn't fit right because they keep popping out on me and he was going to send me a new set of frames for free to make up for, for them just being bad um, and I told him I'd do a review but he hasn't that was maybe you know six, seven weeks ago you can see they're they're kind of the same shape, but also not quite. Um, so I've done that wrong. I should have grabbed one of each. These two are the same. Yeah. So as you can see, they're just a little bit bigger. They stick out in the corners when they shouldn't. And what happens is you can get them in, but they have a nasty habit of popping out on you, so I guess this is my review for VR Rock. If you're really stuck, make sure you get your lens prescription right, and maybe you can shave them down and they'll work. Otherwise just send away them one. I think they were like uh, £25 each, so compared to the VR Rock that was like £100 for the lens on the frame. So yeah, I guess that's my review. If you're if you're really stuck, go for them, but they're not quick and don't expect any customer service whatsoever. Alright then, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Cheers!